Hello folks, this is Donna Gladfelter from the CAD Geek blog. Today what I'd like to do is actually take a look at a feature that's been in the software for a number of years now, but kind of in my experience there's a lot of users out there that just haven't yet explored it. And the, the topic that I'm talking about here is named page setups inside of AutoCAD. Now, with named page setups, kind of their purpose in life is to help me automate all the options that I've got inside of that plot dialog. And so rather than having to configure the plot dialog for every sheet inside of every project that I work on, I can do that once and kind of save it with this thing called named page setups. And so let's take a look at how this is done. And to do that, I'm just going to start up a brand new drawing inside of AutoCAD here using just the standard ACAD.DWT. And since we're talking about plotting, I'm going to switch over to my layout tab here. Now, I'm not too concerned about this viewport, so I'm just going to get rid of it. So, again, this is pretty typical about how we would generally start up a new page or a new sheet inside of AutoCAD. We'd probably create our layout tab here, uh, X reference, draw our title block. However, um, just for pr the purpose of today's discussion, I'm going to insert a title block that I've got. It's a 24 by 36 title block that I've got here that I'm just going to go ahead and insert into my drawing. And I get something that looks like this. So, Again, pretty typical, right? The, the default sheet size for my layout tab is this kind of 8.5 by 11 size. This is 24 by 36. It just completely swallows the page setup here. And so I've got some configuration that I need to do here. So to do this, I could, of course, go to the plot command and configure it there, or I can go down this path of named page setup. So how do I get to this, right? So the first way, if I have my layout tabs displayed, I can just right-click here and go to the page setup manager. If I don't have the tabs displayed down here, I can always go to the Quick View Layouts button down here in the status bar and just right click on one of the layout tabs and go to Page Setup Manager here as well. Either way, it'll take me to this exact same dialog box, which is, again is the, um, the Page Setup Manager dialog box. Now, what this will do is show me a list of all the layout tabs and kind of what named page setups they have set to them. Now, currently, this layout one doesn't have any um, page setups assigned to it. And rather than going into it, I'm going to go ahead and just click on this new button over here. Now when I do that, it's going to ask me for a name for my new uh, page setup. So I'm just going to call this uh, TCG for the CAD Geek, um, 2436 for the size, and then DWF. Again, how you choose to name them is up to you, although I would, of course, highly recommend that you kind of find some sort of standard way of naming your page setups just so you can kind of make sense of it all. So I'll just go ahead and hit OK. Now when I do that, it takes me to this page setup dialog box, but you know, it doesn't take too long before I kind of look at it and notice, wow, this looks a lot like the plot dialog box. And really, in effect, it's the exact same dialog box, just with a different name up here at the top. So what I'm going to do is, just like I would configure the plot command, I'm going to do it in here as opposed to the plot command. So first I'm going to start off by selecting a plotter. Um, I'll go ahead and do this DWF act e plot uh, plotter for myself here. And then I'm going to select the paper size. Well, at this point, I'm not too sure about the paper size, the exact one I need. So I'm just going to kind of guess at it real quick. So um, let's see. I'll do um, arch D 34 by 24, or 36 by 24. I'm going to plot my layout. I don't want to do any sort of offsets. So I'm going to plot it one to one. I do want to go ahead and tell it a. Um, a plot table though, or a pin table, so just for lack of having a better one, I'm going to go ahead and use the monochrome one that ships with the software. And also just so I can kind of see how it's going to plot when all is said and done, I like displaying plot style, so I'll check that box as well. And so with that, I think that you know, my plot dialog box, or really in this case the page setup dialog box, is configured the way that I want it, um, maybe with the exception of this paper size. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And I'll close, but of course when I do that, nothing happens to the, the layout tab. What I have to do is actually apply the new named page setup to the layout tab. So the way I'll do that is just going back is by going back to the page setup manager and I'll select on the named page setup and say set current. So when I do that you'll notice that my layout tab updates to the way I had configured the plot dialog or of course the page setup dialog box. Now as I sort of suspected and kind of looking at this I noticed that part of my title block is outside the margins for this sheet. So I'll probably need to go and fix it by selecting a different page size. So the way I'll do that I'll go back to my named page setup manager or page setup manager and rather than selecting on this tab for my layout I'm going to go back to the the source right and I'm going to go to modify. 
so again, since I know my paper size is not exactly the size that I want, I'm going to change it. And I'm guessing I probably need like one of the expanded or oversized um, sheets. So I'm going to try this Arch Expanded D 36 by 24 and see how that works. Now when I hit OK, it asks me, hey, you've got, you know, this named page setup is assigned to other layouts in your drawing. Do you want me to go ahead and apply this change to all of them? So again, if I had five layout tabs in this drawing, all of them referencing back to this named page setup, I modify the initial named page setup, and AutoCAD will apply that change all the way across the board for me. So I'm going to tell it to go ahead and do that for me, and hit, and hit yes, and then close, and you'll notice that, hey, it updated. My title block is completely contained within uh, the margins of the sheet that I selected, and I'm good to go. So if I wanted to, I could, of course, go ahead and plot this drawing. Rather than plotting, I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and kind of show us what we can do with this stuff. So I'll just do this, TCG. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save the sheet uh, just as a random drawing file. And so just to kind of illustrate what we can do with named page setups, I'm going to create another new drawing, almost the same exact way, starting with the ACAD template. And go to my layout tab here. I'll get rid of the viewport because I don't really need it. So I'll go ahead and insert that um, that same page, or sorry, that same uh, title block into my drawing. You know, I start out kind of the same exact way. So I could go in and manually reconfigure all those settings, making sure everything, make sure I selected the right sheet size and pen table and this and that and everything else. Or I can use the page setup manager. So I'm going to go back to it. Notice I don't have that that named page setup in this drawing at least yet. That's what this little import button over here is all about. So I can click on it and browse to that sheet that I just created and hit open. What it will do is list out all of the page setups that are in that drawing. So I'll just go ahead and select it, hit OK. It brings it into this drawing. I'll go ahead and select it, say set current, close, and just like that I just created another drawing in a fraction of the time it took me to create the first one. So again, just to kind of lay it out there, you can put these named page setups in your uh, DWT file that you have out on the network, let people, everyone access, access them, and make sure everybody's plotting the exact same way. It'll reduce a lot of your plotting woes and save you a lot of time in the department of setting up sheets. So there you have it, a quick tip from the CAD Geek. Once again, my name is Donnie Gladfelter. Find more tips just like this at www.thecadgeek.com.